Hello guys and welcome back. So let's move on to the eyelids. Uh, to do that, we're basically gonna have to do very similar things actually. So the first thing we do is go grab a edge loop here. So let me double click here. Now there are many loops around the eyelid. So you can pick either one, uh, any one of these guys, because we're now really have to be strictly, um, you know, here or there, but it's just somewhere around that eye. Um, uh, but a better choice will be like the edge that, that is kind of like around the eyelid, that is around the, the turning point of the eyelid. Okay. So another thing to take care of as a character modeler is that you, you have a loop that is actually there. Many character modeler doesn't have that, which is pretty frustrating. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and deselect uh, the bottom parts. Maybe add this part here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a modify, convert, and then polygon edges to curve, right? Alt Shift D to delete history, all right? Now again, do a center pivot, and then Control D to duplicate and move it backwards, and then move them all forward. All right, let's do a surface and uh, loft, all right? So notice that this time I didn't really rebuild the curve. Um, because we could actually not build the curve. It's just going to give you an uneven result. So um, the good thing is, though, uh, even it's uneven, but the, the joints will be actually, if you specify the correct amount of joint, they'll be right on those loops, which means they will be right a loop uh, for, uh, right a, a, there will be a joint for every individual loop, and the joint will be right there. Okay, so let's take a look at what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open the code here. Whoops, it's not even there anymore. Uh, it's the other two here. Uh, let me go ahead and load my blend divider real quick. Not blend divider, my uh, tool set. Right, so if we don't rebuild the curve, and we just specify the same amount of joints that we have on these loops. Let's take a look at how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just type in nine here on the create ribbon. Uh, let me close some of the things here. So nine here, control joint can be something like five, uh, ribbon name base will be upper left uh, eyelid. We we'll use the nerve base, don't keep the curve. Okay, and then we we'll parent to the hierarchy. So let me show the joints and grab the head joint, and that's going to be our parent. Okay, now in the controller section, I'm going to use Sphere and Connect, the same setting we used before for the eyebrow. Now we can go ahead and grab this piece and then apply a create ribbon. Okay. All right. Now let me go ahead and grab the controllers. Go to, uh, go select them again, right? And go to the inputs and change the radius. Okay. Now go to component mode, grab all the vertices, and then we can drag them out. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you're seeing those things that are doing that, <laughs> that's because you have symmetry on. So turn that off. Okay. And drag those guys forward. All right, cool. And then when that is done, we can go ahead and take a look at what we have. So as you can see, we have a bunch of joints created. Now what's interesting about those joints is that those nine joints will actually be right on those nine loops. See that? Now that's going to be beneficial because the weight painting, it becomes very easy. What you do is grab those joints and then the skin, you go for uh, rigging, skin, band skin, right? And here, oh, actually not there, sorry. Go to the rigging, right? Uh, skin, add an influence and add influence, lock weights, right? So when you're painting weighting, you just need to make every individual joint to take care of, take care of their loop. Right, their corresponding loop. So let me grab these guys and unlock. And I, I can go ahead and just start painting the the weighting. Make sure that I'm replacing with one. Okay. Right. 
Now you can see I can just very easily specify the weighting one by one because they do take care of a loop and only that loop. Okay. Downside is they're not even, but that could be something we can accept if your geometry is nice and even. So that's why modeling the geometry in a nice and even way always helps in the rigging and simulation process. Okay. All right. And it's also better for the texture because uh, the evener the geometry is, the less it stretch it's going to have when you smooth it. Okay. Um, this guy here. Okay. All right. Oops. Don't know why I'm printing this guy over there. <laughs> so let me grab this guy instead. Not this guy. This guy. Okay. All right. So making sure that this one doesn't do anything over there anymore. It still does. So let me go ahead and give this guy more control. Oops. All right. Holding down control and reverse that because uh, we're subtracting enough, so it should go to the right place already. All right. So moving on to the next, we can do also the lower eyelid. The same technique here. Go to edge mode. Now this time I have the top edge selected already. If I do select the other half, I will have also one more joint positioned over here, because that's what's happening over there, right? So we can skip a loop, uh, a edge here, an edge here, right, and go for the rest. So uh, this one goes all the way to there. Uh, that's the ones we need. Okay. So again, the same process: modify, convert, and polygon edge to curve. Delete history. Do a center pivot. Move it backwards. Control D and move it forward. And that's gonna be our two curves. Inject them closer to each other. And then we do a, a surface and then loft. Okay. And then I can delete the two curves and got this. Uh, surface. All right, and then we can do our ribbon. This time, all I have to change is the lower. I believe I have I have the same poly count on the bottom, but I have to check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, that's the same amount over here. And uh, I guess that's all I all I have to do. So go ahead and create ribbon and go grab the animation controls and then change the radius. Okay, component mode. And move them forward. All right. Now let me go out and do the weighting. Just again, just again, right? Just uh, go grab the things, control one. And also we go for add influence and then we paint skin weighting. Uh, make sure that you also uncheck the lock. All right, go ahead and print the weighting. So you don't want to go too far because the alley doesn't really uh, affect a lot of places. So you can go be a little bit more conservative. So not like the eyebrow we paint further uh, for the eyelid, we can actually try to paint lesser. Just the areas you think they are definitely going to be controlling. Okay. Maybe a little bit over there. All right, so that's going to be the waiting. Okay, so we have actually in 10 minutes, we did all the ribbon setup and the waiting. Uh, not finished yet, but they're good enough to start with. So let's stop the video now. I'm moving on to the next. We're, we're going to keep on building the controls for the outlet. Okay, see you next time.